Right, hello everybody. Uh, there's an update on the um, Chevy. <laughs> right, it's been a few weeks, but I know what you're thinking. We haven't come any further, but believe me, we have. Um, the, the, when I painted it, I had a reaction to the lacquer. Um, really bad reaction and the I wasn't happy with the paint it just didn't seem to be going hard it was constantly you could put your th thumb on it and see your fingerprint it was constantly soft and I, I, I couldn't quite figure it out anyway after talking to my good friend Matty he realized that the paint that I'd used, which I didn't, I'm not a painter, I don't, real, I don't know these things. Um, the paint that I used was, um, I forgot what it's called now. Anyway, it needed hardener. Um, and I didn't realize. Uh, and the people that sold it me didn't say, do you need hardener with that? I just assumed it was like cellulose and you mixed it with thinners and that's what I'd done and hence it was not ever going to go hard because there was no hardener in it um, so not realizing that I I went and put the lacquer on and and had a really really bad reaction and my mate Matty said you're not supposed to lacquer that paint I said oh shit so basically I went and got a load of paint stripper and we've stripped it all back right back down again and started again uh, it's all been rubbed down again and filled undercoat uh, oh it's just been on and on and on it's not perfect by any means there's still some bumps and lumps that I didn't realize were there you 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 put the undercoat on and you rub it all down and you think oh that's brilliant absolutely perfect you put the paint on and you see all these ripples and bumps and dents that you didn't know anyway it is what it is so Matty um, come and help me today and uh, I sprayed the white a few days ago with hardener this time so it's cost me two lots of paint a load of lacquer which I didn't need two tins of paint stripper <laughs> it's cost me a lot of money this paint I tell you a lot of money and a lot of time and effort but anyway it's done that's the main thing and I can now start and put it back together so I'm not going to touch it for a couple of days I'm going to let it go off let it go really hard I mean yes it's hard you can you know it is hard but I'm going to let it go off properly and then I can start putting it back together. I've got to clean all the inside out, um, put the carpets in. Um, I can get um, get my friend to come and put the windscreen back in and get working. I'm going to get the wheels off. Once, once it's it rolled back in, I'll put it up on jack stands, get the wheels off, get the tyres off and get them away and get them shot blasted. And then I'm going to have them powder coated to the same chrome as this on my bumper because it turned out really nice and then I'll paint the little 4x4 back in with black so there you go it's been a few weeks of deja vu stripping cleaning sanding filling paint stripping filling sanding oh it's just been non-stop but anyway we finally got there so anyway right that's it hopefully the next video it will be a lot closer together so there there we go cheers for now thanks for bearing with me sorry it's took a while and um, if you enjoy it please like and subscribe cheers for now see you on the next one